My name is Neil and today I'm going to be taking a look at what it's like to have lived with the MacBook Air for the last three months. So, I bought my MacBook Air a little over three months ago and I have been so happy with it. Honestly, it has been the best purchase I have made for a very, very long time now. I wanted it for three main reasons. The first, productivity. The second, portability. And third, design. So, let's take a look at reason number one. Productivity. I wanted this to be able to perform four basic actions. Efficient photograph editing. Efficient video editing of basic projects. Be able to record my own music and be able to write scripts. So, number one, efficient photo editing. I edit and shoot entirely in RAW and I work in Adobe Photoshop. I was worried to begin with, it might be a little underpowered and therefore it might have quite a lot of lag and I might experience quite a few problems when trying to edit professional formats. However, I am pleased to say that I was very, very wrong. It handles it with ease. I experienced no lag when opening up directly from RAW into Photoshop. I experienced no lag when being very effects heavy in Photoshop, when doing quite complicated tasks to my images. I am very happy to say that the MacBook handles all of that with no problem whatsoever. Secondly, film editing. I have experienced no lag when scrubbing through a timeline of ProRes footage or RAW footage. The only time I have experienced lag on the MacBook Air is when it comes to rendering out a finished product. However, for me, that is not a problem because I can go and do something else whilst I'm setting this to render. Now, I understand if you're running a professional business, time is money and you need to be able to render out and finish several projects in one day. If that is the case, then this MacBook Air is probably not for you. However, overall, colour grading, scrubbing through timelines, basic editing, it works perfectly. So, moving on to music production. If I'm going to record vocals or an instrument, I will turn to the Scarlet Solo with the MacBook, plug and play. It just works. And what I like about good quality gear like this is that it should get out the way and allow you to get on with the creative aspect of your work. Your gear should not be a hindrance. You should not have to spend a long time getting it to work, figuring out how to use it. I can plug this in, plug my instruments or microphone in, and it will work straight out the box. So far, I have experienced no problems with using the built-in recording software on the MacBook Air, Apple's own program, GarageBand. It may not be quite so powerful as professional editing software, such as Cubase or Pro Tools. However, for what I want it to do, GarageBand is fine. It works a dream. It's not complicated, it's very user-friendly, and the best thing of all, I've had to pay nothing extra to get this. It comes built in with this MacBook. The fourth reason why I've got on so well with this MacBook Air is the fact that I can easily write and edit my scripts anywhere. It is so portable. It's light and it's built like a tank. The very well-made aluminium housing on the outside of this thing protects the MacBook. It feels like a solid piece of equipment. That gives me the confidence to be able to take it out with me, take it on the road, throw it in my backpack and go. The fact that the MacBook Air is so light makes it very comfortable to use in all kinds of situations. You can be lying on the sofa, you can be lying on the bed, you can be traveling with it, and it's so easy to work with. Third is quality of design. Because it is such a well-designed product, the lightweight aluminium, the beautiful design, means that all the knocks and bumps that you give it so far have not yet dented its performance, and nor have they dented its looks. The screen is fantastic for video and photograph editing. I did worry because it's not full HD, it is only 720, but to be honest, I haven't really noticed that much difference. Because the screen is such good quality, I think the color rendition on this screen, as opposed to my dedicated video editing Windows, Mac, Windows laptop, is 10 times better. I'm aware you pay a premium for Apple products, and I also know that a lot of people see that as a negative. However, for me, I think you get a much more premium product. It's built incredibly well. It's built to last. It also looks fantastic. 
and to me looks much better than a lot of the other Windows laptops that are around at the moment that have similar spec. Also, it just works. Everything I have used with this so far just works. And for me, that is the best thing about this laptop. So, I hope you found this video useful. If you wanted to know a little bit more about the MacBook Air and what it's actually capable of and possibly some of its limitations, thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.